yesterday, if you tuned into my YouTube channel, you saw the first box. So what this was, this was a Child's Collectibles mystery box. There was two of them that shipped back on April the 2nd, 2020. Purchased on March 28th, 2020. So both of these were four year old mystery boxes that sat in stores for the past four years. So I dug them out. We did the first one yesterday. Today we're gonna to do the second four year old mystery box. Looking at my actual account with childscollectibles.com, you cannot click on the link anymore because they took down this web page years ago. Only details I have, it was 50 bucks a box. I bought two of them. Shipping is 15 bucks. The total of 115 shipped. We've already done the first box. The first box, my total came out to 125. That box covered everything, even shipping cost. And what's kind of nice in that box, I think over uh, three out of the six pops, I think, were, were all vaulted now too. So with pops, these this being boxed up four years ago, four years ago there's going to be common pops four years ago that are now vaulted maybe worth 25 30 40 bucks interesting right do i recommend holding on to mystery boxes for four and five years I, if you have some storage units with extra space yeah go for it plug them away dig them out four three five six two years and uncover some treasures that you bought years ago years ago so box number two there's six pops in here the last time we did one if you want to check the video out after you watch this one go to my main youtube page and it'll be the video before this one but six fantastic pops i have not peeked into this box yet i'm actually recording these back to back literally within like a minute apart but obviously they're being uploaded two days or one day apart you know but yeah today is should be March or not March, April 1st, 2024. I'll film this on March 31st, 2024. This one has two install protectors, four no protector. So let's see what kind of goodies, what what goal we uncover. Anything's possible in these boxes. I mean, four years ago, a pop of 15 bucks could have gotten vaulted and shop in value like crazy. First one, the little or the warriors. We have the Punks Leader. This one came out, was manufactured November 13, 2019. So when this box was made, this pop had just come out like two months before. Because it was produced in November, it would have got to distributors and probably would have hit shelves February, March 2020. So when this thing got boxed up, this thing was fresh. Like it just released, but now it's four years old and it might be vaulted already. 2019 pop, pop number two. Venomized Storm, just the common one. I think there's actually one of these. I think that's a pop in the box exclusive. That was like a chase, I think. I think there was, right? This one came out in 2019. Box looks to be, once again, fantastic shape because this thing's been boxed up for four years now. It went straight from Funko, like release to Chalice. They cracked open a sealed case and they, and they created these mystery boxes. I know the oldest mystery boxes I do have in storage are back in 2018. I literally have six-year-old mystery boxes. I just have to find them. Those should be Toy USA boxes, I think. Number three, Harry Potter. Which one is this? Victor Crumb, Harry Potter. This might have some value. I, I'm not too sure this character is. I don't know if it really if it's gotten vaulted or anything. Box condition, it is very, very mint. Produced in 2019, Victor Crumb. This here might be like a freaking golden egg in this box. This one might have some value to it. Some Harry Potter stuff does. We have two more without any protectors. Then we have two in protectors. The Crimes of Grindelwald. I still have not seen these two movies. Gellert Grindelwald. Didn't um, Johnny Depp play this character, I think? This one was produ produced July the 6th, 2018. This pop is almost six years old now. It's probably vaulted, more than likely. It's a good shape. Okay, these next two are in soft pop protectors. So these two have a little bit more value, at least back four years ago, these had more value than those. But a couple of these might have more value now than what these, these do. But we'll find out, here we go. First one, it's in a soft protector. Back says the Warriors. That's the baseball guy, right? Yeah, Baseball Fury. You know what's funny? Chow's Collectibles and Chrono Toys, they still have this pop. 
they still put these in their mystery boxes four years later. I think they 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 must have bought a couple pallets pallets of of this baseball fury pop because if you buy their mystery boxes now, you still have a chance at getting one of these baseball furies. But it has a little bit of value to it though. It's not crazy expensive, but it has a little bit of value. Last one, you ready? Back says Bulbasaur. This is, oh, 2020 ECCC flocked Bulbasaur. Not sure what the values of this one, but it's a Pokemon pop, so you know it's worth a little bit of money, at least by 20, 30 bucks. But let's go ahead, let's find out PPG values on the Hobby DB app. First pop, the Punch Leader coming at 16 bucks. Four years later, it's worth just a little bit over retail price. Next one we have Gellert Grindelwald, eleven dollars. It is not worth very much. It's pretty much worth exactly retail what it was. So in four years, this has not gone up in value at all. Looks like the Crimes of Grindelwald isn't collected very well. Okay, eleven dollars. Number three, Venomai Storm, eight dollars. This is actually worth under retail. So four years later, this one's actually lost value. <laughs> wow. Okay. Next one. Victor Crumb. 12 bucks. Looks like this is not one of the characters that people were collecting, I guess. Some of Harry Potter's characters are worth a little bit of money. This one obviously is worth retail four years later. Has not gained in value at all. Next, we have the NYCC 2019 Toy Tokyo exclusive Baseball Fury from the Warriors coming in at $29. So, that's not bad. It's gone down in value than what it was a couple years ago, but still, $29. Last one, pot number three, a Bulbasaur flocked ECCC 2020. The most expensive one in this box coming in at $35. So, this one has raised in value over the past four years but nothing crazy though but it's a nice solid mid-range kind of value pop though grand total all six of these 111 dollars plus the 125 from the first box so full ppg value of both boxes 236. four years ago i bought this box for 115 dollars shipped four years later it's 120 bucks over what i paid so it's over a double up four years later so did these appreciate like in crazy value in four years? No, but they, I think they, a few have gone up a little bit. I think most have kind of stayed the same. A lot of the common pops are still common pops. Four years later, vaulted common pops. But did you enjoy this? You want me to dig out some more four and five and possibly six year old mystery boxes? Cause I can start doing digging, see what I can find. Cause I've got more. I have six year old boxes somewhere. Those could be some interesting mystery boxes. But anyway, if you're looking for any kind of pop protectors to protect pops like this with no protectors, check out 7bucks.pop.com. There'll be a direct link down below in the description box of this video. They have a pop protector for every pop protector, every size that you might need. And all these I sell exclusively only on the WhatNot app. So check out the WhatNot app. There'll be a link down below in the description box of this video and one on the screen right now. Download the app is completely free. Use my link, save 15 bucks on your very first purchase. I sell one at least once a week, sometimes twice. Going forward, the rest of 2024, I plan on being live hopefully two to three times a week, selling sports cards, selling Funkos, and collectibles. So I'll see you on the WhatNot app. Use that link, download it. See you next time. <laughs>